From his career on TV to the recent Drag Race drama, here are five things you need to know about Jeffrey Boyer Chapman. One thing you may not know about is Jeffrey's past career. Aside from his position on Drag Race, Chapman is also a model and actor. He has appeared in shows like American Horror Story and The L Word, and also starred in Lifetime's dark comedy Unreal, a gritty take on what happens behind the scenes in the world of reality TV. If a girl like you ever had a shot, this is it. Listen, you really want to make a difference? Win this. Also, Jeffrey is very outspoken about issues that affect black and transgender people. It's incredibly frustrating to, to know that so many of my white friends are leaps and bounds ahead of where I am um, based on not only the opportunities that they're given, but the pay disparity. So often the casting of black people in TV, film, fashion is purely performative and we are used as fronts for inclusivity, but are having to file for unemployment benefits after each job wraps while our white castmates are buying their second properties, Jeffrey stated in a poignant Instagram post. Also, in a Pink News interview, Jeffrey said that drag and the world must be fully inclusive in order to survive. I think as the world goes on, the lines of gender are being blurred more and more, which is what is necessary for us to evolve as a species, he explained. Jeffrey then joined the Canada's Drag Race judging panel, alongside Brooklyn Heights and Stacey McKenzie. I'm going to be sitting as a permanent judge on Canada's Drag Race. Yes, God, are you gooped and gagged? I certainly am. In recent weeks, fans have repeatedly lashed out at Boya Chapman on social media, accusing him of delivering mean critiques to the show's contestants. Everyone gets the same amount of time. Use it better, maybe. One fan of the show said, I'm finding it increasingly uncomfortable to watch Jeffrey on Canada's Drag Race. There are ways to offer critiques without belittling, body shaming, and using your judge's position to bully. Each week he's getting nastier and faker, and it makes me upset. But other fans came online to defend Jeffrey. One fan said, Okay, we get it. Jeffrey Boyer Chapman can be a bit mean on the judging panel, but this obsession with hating him is a bit strange. Cough, racist, cough. Considering the fact that Brooklyn is also very mean, and no one really gives a sh Backlash from fans led to Jeffrey deactivating his Twitter account and limiting who can comment on his Instagram posts. Drag Race UK star Crystal, who made a guest appearance on the spin-off, accused so-called fans of orchestrating a racist pylon with their comments about Jeffrey. So the black queer judge on Canada's Drag Race gets bullied off Twitter. Y'all happy? She tweeted. Scarlet Bobo, another Drag Race finalist, also came to Jeffrey's defence, calling him one of the kindest people I've ever met. Crave, the channel that airs Canada's Drag Race in its home country, issued a strongly worded statement condemning those who have let their passions cross the boundary into harassment by posting hateful comments about our queens and judges online. There is no place for hate in the Canada's Drag Race community or anywhere, the statement said. Our show encourages inclusivity and acceptance of all people, and we hope that viewers who haven't shared in that spirit will respect that message.